Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy Heroes video into a brand new episode of Grand Arena 3v3. This is round three of week two and some of you may be sitting there going where was round two of this week? Um, I didn't actually get around to doing a proper recording for that round but I did while I was away on my phone um, but unfortunately for you guys I know a lot of you obviously like to see a full Grand Arena round. I was only able to record the ground zones because by the time I got the fleets after all my experimenting things that I was doing because all I had to do was full clear to win uh, I actually ran out of memory space on my phone. <laughs> so I fortunately was able to do ground zones. So I haven't really thought about whether I should upload that or not. But if you would, guys would like to see that, obviously let me know. Probably the way I'm going to do that is if this video can hit 50 likes, I'll I release that video and it'll be sort of like a grand arena analysis where I'll talk over the counters that I use and why I was using them. Most of it was just all experimental just to try and see if certain things would win against certain team comps. Uh, for example, I did a Darth Revan fight uh, against a Dark Trooper Moff Gideon, but it had the other Moff Gideon in the lineup. And that was quite interesting to see how that went. Um, so, so yeah, 50 likes and I'll release that. But in this round, my opponent is Jon Snow. So they must know absolutely nothing. Uh, and they're from the guild QLF. And they have 11.2 million GP, so about 800k less than me. Uh, so but they still have lots of very good stuff lots of very good data kinds of things obviously this should hopefully be a good fight so let's jump over to the wheel and see what my challenges are going to be so over onto the wheel we're on defense let's do a quick shuffle and go for our first spin to get our first challenge of this round oh my god no so close ah oh, four dark side wall i mean we've had that already do i want to do that again I mean, it's a bit more generic -y than the other ones. So I suppose I could keep that one. I'll actually keep that one. Hide that. Let's do a shuffle again. Go for our second spin. See what our second challenge is going to be. Must place LV. Okay. Not too shabby. So let's go over to the offense wheel. Go for a shuffle here. And our first spin. See what our first offense challenge is going to be. Must use both Revens. Okay, I could do that. That's pretty simple. Uh, obviously, means using both Darth Revan and the Gen Knight Revan. Let's hide that option. Go for a shuffle and a spin again. I hope I uh, did that. Must use Gen Oceans. Uh, okay, we do have a Scepter State one, so that could actually be okay. But obviously, I don't really know, really know what Gen Oceans count at the moment, so that could be quite interesting. So. Let's go over to the last wheel that we've got to do our challenge from, which is obviously the flex wheel. Do a quick shuffle and a spin there and see what we get. Oh, Luke's about. We had this last time. I'm going to hide this one and we'll do another shuffle with the wheel and a spin again. I've already done Luke's a band together fairly recently. So let's see. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I thought we were going to get a horrible ban there. Luckily, we got the one that was between the Galactic Legend picks. So that actually works out in my favor. So let's uh, go into the attack phase. So obviously, if you do enjoy this, hey, like, comment, always much appreciate. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And let's jump straight into it. So into the attack phase we go. And as you can see, we have a pretty tough defense to get ourselves through. We've obviously got Jabba, Ray, and LV in the previous. Also, a Reaver there in the north as well. So I'll very quickly show you the zones we have to face. Obviously, down in the south is where we're going to be starting. CLS, Old Ben, Chupio, Ray, Ben, and Cal. We're going to be using Sis, uh, Starkiller, and Malakos today. Hopefully, and get a good win with that. That'd be really great. Obviously, Ray's been a bit of a nuisance for me this 3v3 season. Uh, LV, Thrawn, and Maul. A fifth brother, like leftover Inquisitor squad. And then a Dark Troop, Moff Gideon, Scout, and Gideon, which is like the optimal team lineup threes, at least. Uh, kind of stop the Darth Rev encounter, at least, or um, less likely to lose against a Darth Rev encounter, I should say. And then in the north zone, we have a Sortie T3 L3 as just a survivability team. I'm guessing that's kind of try and stop Wampa. I'm kind of tempted to still try Wampa if I can, but I'm guessing this is the protection up Kron, which it is. Oh, and critical bonus as well. So we might try something a bit different against that, probably Trench or something. And then talking of Trench, we've got Trench, New and Django with a Trench Kron. Obviously Reaver, Grand Inquisitor 7th, Jabba, Boosh and Chrysanthemum, and then a Finn, Zori Finn with a Finn Kron. Which hopefully shouldn't be as good because there isn't a uh, Zori Omicron. You kind of need a Zori Omicron 
uh, for to get the best use out of the this team in threes but obviously it'll still be kind of a nuisance obviously with the uh, data gone boost them up so we should go to that later on but first off gonna start off with that ray of course I haven't gone with anything too crazy on the Datacron. This is what I'm taking. Well, this is what they have, sorry. Um, nothing too crazy there. Luckily, no health or extra offense, which is nice. I've just taken a very basic Chrome with health damage on debuffs, extra like tenacity and crit damage. So, going to open up with the buff to spell, get rid of that crit damage immunity. Then we'll throw the boulders at Ben. Get a nice stun. Then he gets cleansed straight away. Right, that's ooh, I said basic. Yeah, that's fine. There it goes. Get a debuff on that ray. Stop her doing as much damage. Get rid of those inspired stacks. Uh, we're just basic here. Ooh, that was lucky. Let's hit Ray. Luckily, we got damage immunity again. That was great. All right, is this going to do anything? Oh, damage immunity, but I mean, really badly timed. <laughs> right, please get ultimate. Ah, oh, we got the savior, but obviously she got healing immunity. That's really annoying. Right, throw the boulders. Ah, that's that sucks. Oh, okay. That doesn't. <laughs> right, we'll put that down just to heal up. Okay, that's Cal being really annoying. All right, let's throw the bowler at his face. We need a debuff. Because we're about to get annihilated, and I don't think we're really get one. Oh! That's my own bad. No way. No way. Ow! <laughs> oh! Cal is so annoying. I keep forgetting about the unique he has, obviously, with the... I should have gone for him earlier. I think that's my biggest mistake. Probably should have ki killed him. Well, so we did get quite unlucky with the Seer healing immunity, but oh my god. I really hate that lineup. The Holdo one is so much easier, or the JTR one is so much easier that I faced in the last round. <laughs> okay, they will start. But that's fine, obviously, because... We will get to go with Permit Da Vinci. I'll very quickly show Datacron, so let's get protection up on the thresholds. And then I'm taking a weird Calorin Beck Datacron, which I've re-rolled since this, and it's turned into my Kit Fist Datacron. Um, so that should be quite fun to use next uh, week for Grand Arena. All right, let's just get rid of Chupio first, I think, if we can. Hmm, I don't think it will land a stun, but I'm gonna try. Yeah, too much tenacity. Which is unfortunate, obviously, because they didn't have a call to action, so they get like an extra 100% tenacity. It's probably a bit of a dumb call from my point of view, actually. Alright, let's just do a big heal there. Okay, there's a Zeta coming in. Andy for old Ben. I'm actually going to call in Luke onto Luke. Yeah, 
<laughs> thought I was wrong for a second there. Uh, and then we'll go for a finish and kill old Ben. For a nice 57 battle win. Now for JML versus Dark Truth Moth Gideon. This is the Decron they have. A very nice, obviously, Decron for and Papa from they don't have their extra offense on the level six, which is quite nice for me at least. <laughs> Do have a bit of extra nasty, which is quite annoying. This is my Jedi Knight Cal uh, Kron, and this is obviously who we are taking as well, along with Barris. Okay, well, that just missed everyone. How much? Uh... Oh, okay. All right. Let's increase the cooldowns of Moff Gideon. Will you into assist? Cleanse and give that to JML. Okay, that's a really annoying. Oh, the deflection. Get an armor shred on Moth. And a stun, that's great. Alright, let's get rid of... Yikes. Alright, we need to keep him under control. We don't want him reviving Moth. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Alright, let's get rid of him. Goodbye. Don't... Okay, Barris coming in clutch. <laughs> oh my god. Deflected, yep. Okay, good. 53 banners. Awful banners, but one shot to one shot, and that kind of. It's better banners than Esokar, at least. Okay, right. Goodbye, Thrawn. Uh, they get an armor shred on Lord Vader. Wait, what? He dodged that. It's fine. Let's do a cleanse. No. No. All in. Bow. I was keep going after Lord Vader. Because we're going to do this against Maul. <laughs> Okay, there's the armor shred. Right, let's heal up. And yeah, 55 banners miss missing. Protection there, I believe, on bow and IG-12. All right, apparently Radis has a 100% win rate with this exact comp against this exact comp. So it's always first for everything to go wrong, I suppose. Uh, this is the day they have. Oh, wow, defense pen and offense up. That could be quite annoying. And this is what I'm taking, which is my Jinkron. So we'll go for... Uh, say special, let's go for a basic. Or should go on for a, a basic on someone else. Uh, let's try stun ninth, maybe. We'll reduce the temi to we did neither. <laughs> right now we'll cleanse. Try and kill eight first. Eight or not. Right. There we go, got Temi to reduce that time, that's good. Just stuck behind ninth, unfortunately. Alright, cleanse again. Oh wow, that was a lot of damage. I was actually passed turn over to Radus. Kill ninth. Cleanse, and that should be. Oh, we didn't get because of the doubt. Why? There we go. 55 banners. Oh, I forgot that does mean we do have uh, the back zone open, which is good. Hopefully, there's nothing too crazy on there. I'm guessing that's a star killer. Ray Holdocron, Sana, yes, yeah, star killer, of course. Uh, Mon Mothma and a Rex Rex 5. So. Uh, gonna stop for a little bit, come back with a plan of action.
because I had to use Geos as part of my wheel challenge. So I felt like my Mothma with this team was probably my best shot at getting it. Uh, this is a Datacron they have. Uh, obviously, Protection Upgrades for Tenacity as well. This is a Datacron I'm taking, which is my Geo Spycron. Obviously, I, I can't unfortunately use the level 9 because my Spy is only Relic 3. Obviously, we'd like to get me up to Relic 5. Obviously, going to 5v5 so I can use Geos more often, hopefully. And that level 6 needs to be re rolled to the anti days, ideally. So let's go for Kara first. At least until we can go after someone else. I'm not going to use that yet because they're not buffed. Because I'm pretty sure it does more damage to buff targets. So I could be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how that works. The Terminator reduction is actually working pretty nicely. Boom. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but she's going to get revived next go. Just watch. If we, if we can't kill Kyle quick enough, she's going to get revived. Yep. Okay. Need to sweep if you can, please. Brood Alpha, please. No. <laughs> Leave Poggle. No, Lee. Just go after Brute. That's what he's there for. Right. Ah, oh, still had the. Yeah, this is not going to win. Oh, dodge. Dodge of the century. No, no, no. Oh, my God. I don't like me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yikes. Okay, we're lost now. That's unfortunate. Well, we've done our challenge, at least. <laughs> okay, well, that's, <laughs> that's definitely game over now. <laughs> I thought we might be able to kill Kara, we might be able to Wampa that afterwards, but I think we'll probably just gonna try Wampa next. Well played, Wheel, you got me good. I don't know whether Momoth actually wastes her heal if I maybe have waited for the big hit on Spy, then kill um, Bingy afterwards. Kill Kara after she done the heal. I don't know if she actually uses it, but don't kill someone, obviously. Ah, oh, come on. One time she doesn't have potency up. Slam dunk. Oh, I should have basic there. I didn't realize she didn't have potency up. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Limit protection up. So annoying. If we actually, to be fair, if this didn't have protection up, I think we'd have won the last one because we would have killed Kyle when we would have done. Obviously, but the protection up prop. Really annoying. I'll just kill you. I know you're going to come back, but it's fine. Oh, finally decide to call in your summon. Good. There we go. Thirty nine.
Sidious versus, well, another Sidious. <laughs> and uh, Star Killer team, obviously. This is deck one they have. This is my Sidious Cron. Let's go for an AWE, start getting those dots. We didn't seem to actually get anything. You know, if you could start getting some uh, docks now, that would be uh, brilliant, please. Okay, there's one. Bye bye, Palpatine. Bye, Mara. Oh, okay. Goodbye, everyone else then. 58 banners. Unfortunately, we missed our protection because we've got doubt on us at the end there, unfortunately. So that's the person I don't want you to go after. Anyone else is fine. Just don't go after Merin, please. Right, this is the Datacron. They have very good Datacron and they have extra tenacity as well. It's going to be super annoying. But we do have an unavoidable plague. Uh, so let's try for a stun. I don't think we'll get one, but we'll go for one. Nope. Wait, is that... I can't remember whether that's like a perma kill without her ability. Okay, no, uh, I don't know. No, it's not. No, no, no. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, there we go. What's that going to be? 54. Hmm? I mean, that's pretty cheap counter, but... Yeah, that could go pretty nicely if they go after Merrin, but I could see what... Um, flare Boot. Was it Flare Boot was telling me about not taking Zombie? Which is obviously a better idea. This is hopefully going to be the last Galactic Legend I'm going to use on the wall. Still have Esselkar, C, and JMK, which I'm planning on not using for the rest of the walls. Uh, just to obviously mix things up a little bit and not use the same counters over and over again. Um, trying out Jabba versus... Uh, what am I talking about? Trying out Lair against Jabba. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Okay. I think I'm going to regret my decision. <laughs> okay, well, there's uh, the third was gone. It's going be good once we can actually start targeting Jabba because we can start recovering health and protection, which will be good. Let's call in Leia. I also do keep forgetting about call to action on this team as well, that I can actually go around taunts. Okay, well, I hope that was going to actually kill you, but never mind. All right. Now we can start recovering health and protection, hopefully. We'll see when we start hit uh, Jabba with Leia. Uh, well, I mean, will, the, will I still recover the health and protection even with the... Uh, out on us. Well, I'll go for it anyway. The answer is no. We might get it back again before we kill Jabba. Now I've got basic here to cover some protection. Now call layer in to cover even more health and protection. Got a basic here. Let's see if you can. Probably should go for burning there, maybe. Alright, let's call... Drogon. Ah, oh, it's blooming annoying. Yikes. Drogon, you're not meant to do that much damage yet. We were trying to get Banners back. 53. Bit annoying, but <laughs> it's what it is. <laughs> Wait, what?
<laughs> wow. Fish Trooper doing the work rather than Bane this time. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. There we go, 455. Oh, I didn't even show Datacrons. I mean, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. It's Bane kills everything, regardless of what it has. Unless it's Jabber, of course. Don't really plan to use Trench this Grand Arena, so I'm actually taking my own Trench Grand against this, this for the potency and tenacity up. Obviously, the extra offense protection is also nice as well. This is the Datacron there. How's the anti days? Uh, pretty good Datacron for Trenchy Boy. So let's go for a cooldown increase. Then call in our droid. Then I'll hopefully kill Trench. Mm, close enough. This will kill him though. Kill Nooty Boy. Nope. Oh, okay. The burning did. All right now we just got to wait for Django to come out of his uh, damage immunity. Get an armor shield on him ready for when he comes out. Maybe kill Nuke with the AWE here. <laughs> nice stun as well. Thank you. Trip. It's a shame you have to use that ability. You can't just like skip a go. Like, no, I don't want to use this. <laughs> I don't want to steal banners. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, probably just basic here. Very nice. 55 banners. Okay, Genar Raven versus Sorty and L3 and T3. Nice amount of crit avoidance, which is great for them. Obviously, protection up on level 3. I'm taking my Raycron. I'm probably going to be sticking this back on defense again. I'm probably putting Cal with the team because I don't know how, much, how annoying I find it. Um, but that could just be me. But we'll go after T3. Obviously, keep him out in the open so we can get rid of the VIP. And then we'll go for a jump here. Basic. Why is it so dark? Why do my characters look so dark on the screen? Okay, right. Obviously, this is part of my challenge as well, using both Revan. So I've got the plan to use Janot Revan here, and then I'm going to be using uh, Darth Revan in the South Zone. All right, there goes T3. Give that over to uh, Janot Revan. Oh, mine's gone blank. Let's right, call in L3. I want to try and get him under 50% health so we can get the offense up and up on a basic, but it's not happening. I'm going to save that because we're going to use that against uh, Sorty. And now we can get offense up and defense and up as well. Come on. All right, let's spread that to the others. Which turns and you're back up to full health, I didn't even realize. I'll sod it. We'll use it. Because you're really annoying me now. <laughs> right, there we go. Right, and then we just put it as a full auto. Because I don't know as much I can do to actually make this go any better than it would do me controlling it. And there we go. For a full banner win, which is great. Because I don't have many of those these round, this round. Okay, this is the Datacron they have. I was surprised they started. They were pretty quick. Oh well. Uh, this is what I'm taking. <laughs> Nothing too crazy either. Oh, do I want to go for... Yeah, let's go for Fear. I mean, it's not going to land on Rex, but that's fine. No point using that because they've got Tasty up. So we'll just go for Basic. Play the Taunt. Now we'll try Stun Rex if we can. Nope. Resisted. No, I'm going to throw the AV out, even though I'm going to get countered. Now we can throw some more fears out. We're probably going to trigger the death mark on um, Rex, but that's fine. I think. Because <laughs> we are going to do, get, probably going to get the sacrifice, is what I'm trying to say. Um, from Fives. Yeah, because I don't like this. It's not working out very well. Right, I'll drain you then. 
Thank God you used that on Malik and not anyone else. I get some more fear. Uh oh, get very close to death mark. Well, here's the death mark. Okay, there we go. Didn't actually work out too bad. I thought we was going to get absolutely black by Rex as soon as he got the sacrifice off. Uh, I probably should have an AWE there. Mm, drain to finish. Or 55 banner win. That seems to be the banners we're getting this round for some reason. Not getting the extra two protection banners that we need. Right, Dash Han and Chewy versus this team. This the reason I'm doing this obviously is because they got the level six crown with the bonus turn. I'm hopefully gonna hit Bam with this first attack and trigger both his level six turn and his bonus turn from his unique. Assuming that they overlap each other, they might not, but that's my idea at least. Uh, at least I, I think that's how it works. I could be completely wrong, or this might actually do as much damage as I thought it would. But oh, there you go. Oh, okay then, that works perfectly. <laughs> Uh, right, let's just go for slam. Get some buffs up. Oh, will daze them. Punch. Oh, wow, he actually survived that. Uh, right, let's kill Stormtrooper Hand then. Uh... I mean, it's probably going to be 54. I don't think much I could do there, unfortunately. But there we go. The last one, not least, we're using Maul with Gar and Imperial Super Command against this Holdo Cron. Um, I'm taking my Fing Cron just because I want the extra offense, which would be quite nice. So we're going to go for a Twirl, I think, first. We do get another go. That's great. Oh, I just realised C three. How are we going to get to C three? Blue, blue and L hold. Oh, what are you doing? Why get so much? I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this if I can't get to... We can't get to C3. This is so annoying. I've fallen into the trap. three please come out oh oh maybe we might get enough time to actually get aoe in down but i mean this sucks <laughs> this actually sucks <laughs> I mean, wait, if I could cycle these two, actually, if I could cycle this and then go for an AOE again, I might be able to get, actually get C3 down in time. This, just got, this basically is a case of whether it times us out or not, I think. Oh, here we go. There we go. Finally. Fifty-five battle win. I really thought we were going to be messed up then. Oh my god! But that is ground zone cleared. Um, 
I think my other counter would have worked against that because I was going to take uh, Palpatine, Mara, and uh, Darth Vader, which, yeah, that definitely would have worked. But I thought more uh, Mandos is a bit more of a fun team to use than that team. So opted to go for them instead. But that does mean we can move on to fleets. And my total score at the moment is 1594. Not too bad. I mean, that one drop against Monmouth was annoying. And that's literally just down to the wheel, having to use Geonosian somewhere. Because I literally don't think I would have been able to use Geos anywhere. Because with the BAM squad, I've been worried that the well, Whistling Birds would have done a lot more damage to me. We had the damage output needed. Uh, and that JTR team would definitely would have screwed us over. That probably would have been the only other target. There was no other targets in the north, really, or south front wall that would have been a good target for Geos. So just one of those things. Wheels screwed me over, but we'll go into ships. Hopefully get some nice one shots here. We have no Leviathan. Woo! <laughs> right, let's go for... Uh, profanity versus execute first, I think. Right, you let's call in Falcon. Wait, oh, my God. I can't believe I've thrown it like that. <laughs> Why is Cassie in there? I mean, if I can win this somehow without Dash, I'm going to be very surprised. But, oh my God, I can't believe I've done that. That's such a new mistake. The even a more annoying thing is I didn't bring him in as a reinforcement. Let's get the defense pen up. Nice dodge. Oh, uh, here comes Boba. Yes. Yes, we need. Uh, call it Falcon. He'll do the most damage. I'm sorry if I'm not speaking. I'm really trying to concentrate. <laughs> I really want. Oh, please, please, please. God, but it's nowhere near. The dodge. The dodge. Come on. No! Oh my god! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> yes, Puppet Minity! No, why'd you have to cleanse? Oh my god. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Oh. Why did I do that to myself? Why? Oh. If it comes down to me losing by 12 banners, it's definitely it's definitely gonna be that that's the part. I'm not gonna blame Geonosians because that was out of my control, but that one, that was just plain stupid. I can't believe I took Cassian over Dash. Oh 
Shoot. That's a pretty good strat, actually, going for making me force me to go after Marauder first. Uh, is it still worth going for a mass assist on him? Probably. Am I probably going to regret it? I mean, yes. All right, get buff immunity, please. You suck. I don't like the look of this, to be honest. Can I have a turn? Thank you. I'm going to call it in. I'm hopefully not going to have regret not healing. Uh, oh, I'm going to regret it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Let's actually hit Y wing for. Are you kidding me? Anakin. There we go. This sucks. How's my house too still alive? Okay. I shouldn't have said anything. Oh, well. I didn't mean to click on that. No. What a team. That's a great with the Plo Force Hold on Marauder. I mean, normally I'll just go straight for Anakin. It's pretty much game over then. But that, that fumbled me. Okay, ships just not going very well today. I can't believe that negotiator beat my blimmin executor. First time that's happened to me as well. Any all the marauder lineups have been absolutely fine. That one with Plo's dying, no. <laughs> well, I mean, at least I guess you guys some tips if uh, that's a problem for any of you guys. As in, like, your negotiator getting one shot. <laughs> uh, but do let's get rid of that taunt. Use a special. Please don't kill my pawn already. And then this should do a massive amount of damage, I'm hoping. Hoping. There we go. 73 banners. Finally, one of the ship battles went right. Please work. Don't go after my Anakin. Not Anakin, Vader. Right. Let's call it Tide Defender first. Stun Y Wing. I just have to hope and pray that a Marauder y uh, AOE doesn't kill my Vader. All fives coming in and doing that instead. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, let's do this, actually. Maybe we should kill Poe.
and hit Marauder actually. There we go. There's one death. Then we've got to kill him again. Get rid of Marauder. Basic. Fives to finish. Four. A 47. Oh my god. That was an awful fleet zone. And that was all my own doing that one. They can't even blame the wheel for that because there's no fleet wheel challenges. Maybe I should just bring fleet wheel challenges so I've got something to blame afterwards. But <laughs> that should be a... I'm hoping hoping still a decent score. Over 2,000 I'd be happy with. No! Why? That's, all, that's one year off my birth year, so pretty close. <laughs> But yeah, I've left that board wide open for my opponent to beat me. As long as they are fairly consistent and one try everything, they're going to beat me easily, um, even with low banners. Because uh, obviously dropped twice. Luckily, that profanity fight worked out pretty well against it. Well, I'm not pretty well, but like it still worked out and I didn't drop a fight there. And I got very lucky at the beginning with Starkiller versus uh, Ray, which obviously wasn't the best start to go with. I really stopped starting with Ray. It doesn't seem to go very well if I start with Ray. But yeah, uh, this will be it for now. Actually, I'll show you my defenses very quickly. So you can see what I had to set. I had to do a full dark side wall and I had to place LV on defense. And I've done basically the same thing as I did last time when I had to set a similar uh, concept. But last time I set as a car, I've done it on back wall. So these are the defenses I've set. I have set LV thrown on uh, RG. My opponent's got bow, so I don't want to waste maul and that team when that could easily get beaten. And I've just placed them in the back wall just in case that works out for me. And they use bow somewhere else on the front. Iden, Storm, and Shaw. Um, Hux, First Lord, Tide Pilot, and Sith Trooper. Malgus, and obviously a Reaver. So that's my full dark side and my LV on defense, which has met my challenges, which is good. So, and we didn't use Hondo either on offense or defense. So, challenge is done. Not a great result in the end, but hopefully we might be able to get a win still. But obviously we'll come back to stay on once my opponent attacks. So I shall catch you in a bit. Okay, so I'm back later on. As you can see, I did unfortunately lose. Obviously, massive congrats to my opponent. They absolutely smashed my defense. They pretty much just they one shot everything basically. They didn't drop a single fight. Got a really good score, twenty forty one. So it kind of makes me a bit, make me feel a little bit better. Obviously, with the geos going wrong, and obviously um, the bit of misfortune I had with the Marauder fleet as well. But it's what it is. Uh, hopefully that leaves us in a good position going into the last week of the season to have some more fun with the wheel. So thank you very much for watching and I shall catch you in the next one.